So let's look at mean as a measure of central tendency. And we said it's the most common measure of central tendency. Mean, it is a measure of central tendency that is commonly used among the three. So let's look at the advantages of mean. The first advantage is that it considers the entire values, all whole values. It considers all the values given. Then it, it takes into account all the observations given. Another advantage is that it can be used for further calculations. Like if we are calculating for these things, it is always mean that we take to other levels. It is used for further calculations. It is used to determine the coefficient of variation and very many other things. Then it is unique. Yeah, mean is unique and a set of data always has one mean. They cannot be two. The disadvantage of mean is that it is affected by extreme values and may lead to wrong analysis. Mean, it is also known as average. Things of average, in case you are to get the average performance of the class, there can be when five students got 90s and the rest of the students got maybe 30s or 50s. But once you add and divide to get the average, you get something like 60, like it can lead to wrong figures. So extreme values, values that are extremely big, affect the mean. Yeah, it is affected by extreme values and may lead to wrong analysis. So if you get the average, you can say that the class is performing well, yet there are only few students that are getting 90s and the rest are fading. But the average shows good performance. Let's look at characteristics of mean, how mean is supposed to be like. First is that it should be easy to calculate and understand. Then it, sh it should be unique. A set of data should have one mean, not multiple. Then when being calculated, it should be based on all the observations of the distribution. Like consider everything in the data set, don't leave out anything. Then it should be least affected by sampling fluctuations. And lastly, it should not be affected by extreme values. And those are the characteristics of mean. Thanks for watching.